I want to talk for a few minutes about Christian's testimony, our evangelistic testimony. It is the short story that Jesus would tell about how he saved us from our sin, how he gave us rebirth. It is Jesus' story of what he changed in my life. Now, like you and like everyone, I was not born a Christian. I was born dead in my sin. Like every other human being, I was born as the enemy of God. I was not interested in God. I did not care about God. And as a young child, I was very young when I came to realize that I liked sin. I knew within my heart that I was evil because I had two older brothers and we would fight often. And I knew the anger that lived within me. I knew the hatred that lived within me. I knew the bad language that I would use to express my hatred. And so I had no trouble understanding that I was a sinner. As I said, I was born into a Christian family. My parents were strong Christians. We attended a small rural church. We lived in a small rural town called Catty Catty in New Zealand. My parents were pig farmers and they owned about 1,200 pigs. Every Sunday, the small rural church we attended would preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so I understood from my earliest age that God was holy. And God, because he is holy, God must judge sin. The most accurate and just punishment for sin is death. And so as a five-year-old, I understood that when my time on this earth was finished, God would rightly judge me for my sin and condemn me to an eternity in hell. And that was right and that was fair and that was accurate. And that is what I deserved. But I also knew there was a saviour who could rescue me. I knew that his name was Jesus. And I knew that Jesus was the son of the living God. And I knew that Jesus went to a place called Calvary and on a cross he was crucified for the sin of the world. Now it was a Thursday afternoon in the winter in New Zealand of 1967 and my father was feeding the pigs at approximately four o'clock in the afternoon and I walked across the paddocks to him into the big shed where he was feeding the pigs. And I said, Dad, can you help me find Jesus? Can you help me get Jesus to forgive me? And my father did. He simply re-explained again the gospel of Jesus Christ so that I, as a five-year-old, had a perfectly clear and simple understanding of the gospel. And so there we got down on our knees in a shed with 200 pigs squealing and making pig noises. And there I confessed to Jesus that I am a sinner and I deserve hell. And I confessed that I believe that Jesus died for my sin on the cross. My sin was in his body and he suffered the death penalty that belonged to me. And there I asked Jesus to forgive me and to come into my life and be Lord of my life. And praise God, that is exactly what Jesus did. In that moment of time, by the Spirit of God, I was born again. Repentance had ushered me into a new life, into forgiveness of all my sin, into the Holy Spirit moving into my life, moving into my body. There I was adopted into the family of God. There I was credited with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. There I was transferred from being the enemy of God to being a child of God. 
There I received eternal life in Jesus Christ. Hell was no longer to be my destination, but heaven is now my citizenship. Heaven is my destination. From that moment of time when I was born again because I repented of my sin and confessed Jesus is Lord. That is the simplicity of Jesus' story in my life. That was 53 years ago. And Jesus has been faithful to me every moment of every day of those 53 years. And on the days when I have not showed faith, Jesus has remained faithful. Jesus has never broken his promise to me. He has never undone or reversed any of his promises to me. God's word is the most precious gift that I have in my life that keeps me on the path of walking this life for the glory of Jesus Christ. And so I share that short story with you so that you now understand that's how Jesus Christ changed my life. That is when Jesus Christ changed my life. And my life has never been the same as it was before. The Christian testimony is a powerful evidence of the reality of Jesus Christ in this world and in your life. Others need to hear that story. Your non-Christian friends need to hear that story. But you see, that story must be true, first of all. And so as you listen, have listened, I invite you to look in your heart. Have you been born again? Have you repented and confessed Jesus as your Lord? Have you invited the Spirit of the living God to rebirth you into being a new creation in Jesus Christ? Amen.